There is a law of spiritual reproduction. How do you multiply a Pastor David? How do you multiply a Daddy Wampa? How do you multiply a Reham Bonke? How do you multiply a Billy Graham? How do you multiply a Morisirillo? All of these general, Katrin Kuma, how do you multiply them? So that when the person dies, the grace, the gift, the mandate has no vanish. God opened my eyes to understand the secret of rep spiritual reproduction. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, I want you to watch something. God has made all things in creation. Made all things. The last law he set for everything he made, especially living things, is the law of reproduction. Is in verse 26, 25, 25, 25, not 26. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after his kind, and everything that creeped on the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. There is a law called the law of kind. Everything you reproduce after your kind. Everything after your kind. Everything after your kind. Everything reproduce after your kind. So cows never give birth to dogs. They give birth to more cows. Dogs give birth to more dogs. Snakes give birth to more snakes. So you see mangoes, the mangoes don't give birth to coconuts. Mangoes give birth to more mangoes. Coconuts give birth to more coconuts. Whatever you are, if you're an evangelist, a thousand evangelists or more should come out of you. If you're a pastor, a thousand pastors or more should come out of you. If you're a believer, a disciple, a thousand disciples or more should come out of you. Anything. You are a music minister. A thousand. If you only finish singing, you have not fulfilled your ministry. You failed in God's system of sustainability, which is reproduction. You are an intercessor. A thousand. That prayer you are doing is one thing. Multiplying prayers is the most important thing. God's strategy is not prayer. I have never seen God say, I'm looking for intercession. God's strategy is men. Men. What you hear him saying, I sought for a man. I sought for an intercessor. Who shall I send? Who shall go for us? Because if it is just intercession, it will soon vanish when you go. Once you're dead, dead is gone. God's strategy is not preaching. God's strategy is raising the men that will do it. As my father has sent me, so send I you. And then he lifted his hand and said, Father, I have finished the work that you gave me. Before the cross. Before he went to the cross. John chapter 17. And one day I read that. Then I also read what he said on the cross. It is finished. So I said to Jesus, what work was finished before the cross? And what work was finished on the cross? Because two works were done. He fulfilled his own ministry on the cross and said, it is done. The work of redemption, pain and dying for our sin to bring. That is his mission on earth. He completed it on the cross. But there was another work he completed before dying. In John 17, he said, it is the men that you have given me. I have raised them. I have taught them your word. I have sent them into the world the way you sent me. Before you start talking about finishing your ministry, you must first reproduce that ministry in many other people. The work of preparing the men that will carry on after he goes is what he was talking about in John 17. So the whole chapter, he now prayed for them.
So when God laid the law of kind in Genesis 1, 25, he now came to verse 26 to do exactly what he has said. Animals produce after your kind. Birds after your kind. Fish after your kind. Trees after your kind. Now God wants to produce after his kind. So he said, let us make man in what? In our own image. After what? Our likeness. God reproduced a God. If you understand the law of kind, you know who he reproduced. I think Dr. Ferdinand took care of that yesterday, so we don't need. What I want to now show you is the secret of reproduction. And when God reproduced a God man, you know what he said to him in verse 28 of the same Genesis chapter 1? He said, he blessed them and commissioned them. The first law is be fruitful. Second one is multiply your kind. Reproduce and multiply your kind. You're a pastor. How many pastors have you raised? You're a leader. How many leaders have you led? Not how many followers. You're a businessman. How many business people have you raised? You're a millionaire. How many millionaires have you led? Not how much money you have. I don't care how much money you have. I want to know how many people you have empowered. You're a disciple. How many disciples have you made? You're a politician. How many young politicians have you raised? You think it's just about you? Hey, people keep praying, Lord, I want to know my purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that book you call the Bible? That book reveals that before you came here, there is a book. There are about five types of books talked about in the Bible. That the Bible talks about. Yes. The most popular that people preach about is the book of life. The book of life is where names of people that have given their life to Christ, that are God's children, are recorded. So on the day of rapture, there won't be confusion because there is a register. That's why make sure that your name is written in that book in heaven. You can be in the church membership book and your name is not in the heaven's book. There is a book of the living. Yes. They use two words to address it in one. Either you call it the book of every human being that enters this world is in a record of. God too is not confused. You know, he has stars counted. He has all the hair on your head counted. Then you think he has not counted you. And he's busy counting the hair. It's in the Bible. This particular book is to keep record of everybody that comes here. But you see, not everybody that now enters here that will enter the other life. Now, that book is also called the book of destiny. When David was writing about it in the Psalms, he said it's not just, he said all my days are recorded in that book. Even all my members. It's like that girl that was dead that was raised yesterday. And I asked God to give her a new heart. The, in the health department in heaven, they will start running around. Which type of heart will fit her? What? No, no, no. They have her records. All your members, they know your height. This thing is not decided after you are born. It is already decided before you enter your mother's womb. They know that you're going to be Africa. If they wanted you to be a white man, you, they, they would have given put, because you were a spirit being before you came to the flesh. They will have arrange for you to enter a family of two whites. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It was deliberate God planning that Jesus will be born a Jew, not an African. Because he made a deal with Abraham concerning that. That is through his seed. So when he was also entering the womb, he wasn't entering any womb. Even if you were a virgin from Nigeria, you won't enter your own womb. 
because of his own assignment. But there are other people that will enter your womb. These things were planned. All your members. So what they will do, they just look there. And they, you know, their own system is far more advanced than all these computer you know, technology systems. They just, okay, that's the, uh, within seconds, this transplant has happened. For example, a lot of people think that it was in Genesis chapter 2 when God saw it's not good for man to be alone, that he now came up with the idea of a woman and made Adam a wife. You are joking. Everything is preordained, planned ahead. Because in Genesis chapter 1, show it to them. In verse 26, he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Then in verse 27, he actually did it. He said, God created man in his image. In the image of God created him. What did he create them? Mel. So Eve too was there before even Adam was made. It was when the time came, he just went in there and brought, took a rib and brought her. You did not start when you were born. Your body started in the womb, but the real you started long before that womb. When Jesus was coming, he said, the body has thou prepared me. Not only your destiny, the work you would do, that body, all the parts of it. So when a tire punctures, companies that make tire have spare parts. Don't think that God that made human beings does not have spare parts. And you can't take a tire for a Mercedes car and put it for a tractor, a bulldozer. Do you know how big Buddha's attire is? That's how it is. You can take a tire for a motorcycle and put it in a Range Rover Jeep. David said in his book, all your members were written. Then he said, all your days, even before they were came, that they have all been. He said, if I start counting this, summation of your thoughts to, towards me. They are more than I can. Then he now asks, where can I flee for your spirit? For example, you all know that there is a book called the book of seal that Jesus collected from the Father. The one he's unsealing that unveils prophecy and the destiny of the earth. Mm -hmm. But there is another type of book. Oh, it's book of prophecy. It's not that one that Jesus is unsealing. This one are scrolls. They take it from heaven. They invite you and give it to you to eat. When you eat it, it will be sweet in your mouth. But in your belly, it will be bitter. I don't want to say anything no. There's one I'm, I've, I've been given to it, and it's part of what they will measure me with. Or I have to blow that trumpet till I've completed the message in it. This part is just beyond just, we are all teaching about It's prophecy. It's prophetic. It's an oracle. It's a message. Certain people are called to herald a message. If you know when daddy started teaching things like foundation and the, the whole church world was uh, completely, there were four teams, there were whatever. Today now, see how we are all casting out demons and we are now dealing with somebody paid a price for that. He was bitter too in his stomach. He went through hell for it. Sometimes there are messages you are giving, there is a cause attached to it. But God always say, like he said to Ezekiel, the people I'm sending you are stubborn, no? their faces, don't let their face intimidate you. Whether they are listening or not, speak the things that I tell you. So you see, there are certain men that are giving a unique message. That's why as you see me here, 
Even if you like, carry me, put me somewhere in another planet. Eh? You burn all the Bible. Once I start praying and worshiping, the thing is inside now. I've eaten it. It's inside. The scroll is inside. But it's no more. It's inside. You have to eat the Bible. Eat the Bible. Eat the Bible. Meditate. Digest. Pray it in till it becomes internalized. Okay, if we're enjoying books, you want me to tell you about books? Let's leave books alone. I'm, I'm going somewhere. We're talking about reproduction. It's the reproduction issue. There are a lot of curious people in the kingdom. If you let them, they will keep drawing the thing from you and keep you. Yeah, they want to know all the books. For example, there is one called the Book of Memorial. Do you know what that one is? The things we do for God, giving, soul winning, sacrifices, services. You see, in, in the Lord, there is nothing you do to advance God's kingdom that is in vain. No, it's all being recorded as we're here. Everything everybody is doing is being recorded because that's what they use to do promotion here on earth and that's what will be called up on the judgment seat of Christ. Oh, if you've read the book of Revelation, it said that the, the, a book will be opened, which is the book of life. Eh? Then another set of book will be opened. Those are book of works. And everyone will be judged according to what is written there. That's why that angel, even the things, the blessings of God, certain people, when you see God promoting certain people, don't envy anybody or you don't know the price they paid at a certain time in their life. God sent an angel. It was to Cornelius' house. He said, your arms, your givings, and your prayers are come as a memorial. A book of memorial is a book of remembrance. If you want to understand it, Mordecai, did something to save the king's life. Hmm? He said there was a kill plot and they were to assassinate the king. Two soldiers were plotting it. He was sitting at the gate. He was the one that knew the information. Gave it to Esther and they saved the king's life. They were able to stop that kill and save the king's life. The king ordered. They also have a book of memorial. A book of, and they put it. Esther didn't put it for her name. She told the king, this is not me. We, you know, if it's some of us if you say, you say it's you, he told them he's Mordecai that saved your life. And they recorded that in the record. But nothing was done for the man. Nothing. Time was passing. Until one day somebody was plotting the man's death. He has made a gallow where he will hang more, the same Mordecai. Remember that in the kingdom, you are rewarded according to your work. The things you are showing today will come back to find you. The sacrifices you are making today, and some of them is not just you. It will come for your children. They will be blessed in their generations because of your obedience. The Bible said, God will say, I will do this, I will do this, because Abraham, your father, obeyed me. Your obedience is not just for you. You are giving you are going to get blessed. But that one you are getting is just the tip of the iceberg. The seed of the righteous, the Bible says, shall be mighty upon the earth. Wealth and honor shall be found in their house. The seed, children of the righteous. So that night, the king could not sleep. Restless. He was turning on his bed. It was God. The man that sowed a good seed saved another person's life. Somebody wants to take his life. It cannot work. There is a law of justice running in this universe. The things you think you gave, you think nobody said thank you, nobody even recognized you, you think he's gone, he's not gone. He's in the book of memorial. One day he's going to call, look for you and come back. And it was that night. The king got up. He had impression in his, let the book of records be brought before me. He said, be reading. If I see what I'm looking for, I will know. And they kept reading. They kept reading. Ah! The moment they mentioned Mordecai, he said, whoa. 
that the man that saved my life, what has been done for him? The people will say nothing. He said, eh, all these years. And at that time, somebody told him, Herman just walked in, he's in the court. He said, tell him to walk inside. The man walked in. He said, what type of honor and reward do you think should be given to the man that the king wants to honor? Herman thought in himself, who else? It must be me. It must be me. So he listed all kinds of things, thinking he was the one. When he finished, the king said, you are the one that will carry it out. Go find Mordecai. Put him in my own limousine, the presidential, driving around town. Let everybody be blowing trumpet and be shouting. This is how the king honors the man that he favored. The person he came to kill, he is the one now subjected to. The day Satan is going to knock on your door, your good works will answer him. I said, the day Satan will make an attempt to knock on your door, your sacrifices will answer him. The day Satan will make, remember your name. Why they are still discussing it, the book of memorial, incense will start rising from it. This last December, there was a young man. He made a vow to build a church, and he actually commissioned the building and started building. But he hasn't finished, though. They've gone far. Whether they have done roofing and all that. But he traveled. The plane he was flying in, he lost engine. Yeah. By this time, they were returning into, they were flying across DRC Congo. If you see the bush. And the pilot said, you know, he's going to crash into that bush. The young man just said, Lord, remember our deal. Remember that I'm building you a house. I have not even dedicated it. And now, what is going on here? He said, the Lord said, have peace. The plane crashed into the bush, ran, park. Nothing. <laughs> Villagers had, because it was this kind of rain, when the day we were coming here. Rain turned out, you can't see. Rain was falling. Villagers head of the whatever, the people were running everywhere. They came, tire has damaged, this one has damaged, they helped them go to very far from town, bring people that could help fix the aircraft. Then villagers came and brought tractors and started clearing trees in the bush. They cleared trees to far to create a, a runway. Then they went to town, bought fuel, bought a lot of fuel, and gave them, they poured in the aircraft. Now, the ground was still potter potter, so that plane couldn't, so they slept one day. The next day, it looked like it was a little. So they helped push out the plane. And the pilot said, let's try and see if he will fly. The young boy prayed for him, just like he prayed for, on top. The pilot is an unbeliever. And he ran on that bag and took off and flew him back to The book of Ramon. Everyone pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. So let this thing enter. The book of memorial. The book of memorial. God said in that day, he will open the book of memorial. And remember all the people that are serving him, his children. He, saw, he said, I will treat them like my jewel, my treasures. I will treat them as a man treats his jewelries, his treasures. That's what he said in Malachi. Put it up in Malachi. Let them see. He said that they that served the Lord were talking one on the other. And God heard it. Then the book of memorial was opened. Start from verse 16. Let me read it for you. They that feared the Lord spake of one to another. And the Lord hearkened. The Lord heard it. And the book of memorial. This translation used remembrance, which is also correct. A book of memorial was written before him for them that fear him and thought upon his name. Verse 17. Watch you. They shall be mine, said the Lord. In that day, when I make up my jewelries, I will spare them as a man spares his son that serves them. The day of vengeance, the day of trouble, God will spare them, protect them, like he did for Monica. Then, the time of judgment, they will open it to reward. These are 
There are certain promotions and rewards I'm enjoying today. I can't tell you some of the things we did. There were some of them people who said, you are stupid, you are foolish. Reckless giving. Radical sacrifice. You have to be principle guided, not emotion led. We walk by faith and not by sight and not by emotion. Let me tell you, it costs something to obey God. Should I say it again? It costs something to obey God. But after it, it's worth it all. There are some stories that your mom t has told me. Eh? You hear some of them, you'll be wondering. When, how do we raise women like that again in this generation? pharmacist, some, at one time leading a clinic for uh, a, a pharmaceutical team for a major institution in Nigeria. And you will go because at that time, this is a barrister of first class status. He could make all the money. And God said, leave that to go and do what I ask you to do. And then at the initial stage, the tightness of this situation. You know what, woman, you, you start slapping your husband. It's necessarily you want to. You say it's God calling you. One day she was telling me, he said, this is the way we operate. And it's not just how. There were a group of them priority in trade. He said, once they pay us at the end of it, we'll carry it and come and say, that is it. It is him that now, now decide how. I said, what? This generation, fire will burn that whole house down. How do we get those kind of things? There was no phones in those days. They would make all this trip. You are hearing Mount come at different places. That, that, that will make a whole book of Acts. If you hear things, okay, you can't connect with your husband. You don't know where they are. And sometimes they are facing danger. You will start to man, no, I'm being intercession. When they finish, they will be back. What is order? Ah, you, you carry your bag and go back to your father's house. My friend, we need to wake up. Oh. Let's wake up. God is not training sissies. He's training an army. Hey, you like this book, book, book. Let's talk about reproduction. This is, I tried to stop it. You guys pulled it out of me again. You have collected about five now. I think it's enough. There are actually two others, so, but don't ask me about it. Pastor, you see all this our giving, all this sacrifice. See, you now carry yourself. Uh, Italy, uh, Rome, Holland. it's not a joke. Oh. On that day, you will see now, some people will be gardeners in heaven. They will make heaven, but they will be cutting your uh, flowers. Other people will be ruling. Everybody is going to get what he sold. He's going to give to every man according to his work. You are saved by grace, but you're going to be rewarded for your works. Paul said, that's why we labor, whether we are in life or in death, that we might be accepted of him. For we must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We are no fools. We're not like those boxes in the air. We're hitting towards it, heading towards a target. Enough of this book. Please. I said, <laughs> the law of spiritual reproduction. Holy Spirit, help me here. Please, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, everyone say I ate the book say it in my tummy it was bitter but in my mouth it's sweet so some of these messages you see us preach that sounds nice you don't know what it cost us to bear it what it even cost us to come to that place of understanding 
Because the Bible said, so mightly grew the word of God and prevailed. A time comes when the warfare around a revelation is over. The word now prevails. Eh? And J. Gabriel and Michael has beaten the prince of Persia. That message had broken through. Lord asked that the, when they were carrying this message, what they went through. Now God is calling some of us to now be sons of consolation to them. You don't know what they went through. You don't have a clue. Victory belongs to Jesus. I'm trying to get myself back to Victory belongs to Jesus. Oh. Reproduction. Reproduction. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Who can stand against the Lord? Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the King? Jesus, victory belongs to Jesus. 